this is everything you'll need to make this rear view mirror charm. I'm using this accent color. This, this is Plum. You can find this in my Etsy shop in small spools or a large spool like this one. I'm using this natural cotton and this pet brush to comb it out. I'm using some like 1mm cotton string to hang it from, but you could also use this to split it in half. A cedar branch, a sharp pair of scissors, and a lava stone. This one is optional. You don't have to put one on, but I like it because you can put essential oils on it. Just put a couple drops and it'll make your car smell really good. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do first. I'm going to cut this string probably about 8 inches, 9 inches long folded. Like that long. And I'm going to put it on this cedar branch. You can do this lastly too, but it takes a little bit longer. So that's why I like to do it first. So after you do like a lark's head knot over the top like that, you get one of these strings and put the lava stone through it. Pull the lava stone to the bottom and then I just tie a regular knot over the top just to keep it in its place. Next step is to get your cotton rope. I'm using size 5mm right now and I'm going to cut seven pieces of rope. I'm going to cut two of them the same size Two of them about this short, and then do a little bit longer and a little bit longer because you want your rope to kind of go in a shape. So my first set of rope, I'm going to cut like this long. It's like five or six inches long. And then I'm going to put them on each side. Like that. And I'm going to cut these ones just a little bit longer. And then these ones a little bit longer than the last. And then one more, just a little bit longer than those last two. Now I'm going to apply them all to this cedar branch using the lark's head knot. Just like that. You can put it on this side. You can put the lark's head knot on like that if you like that look better. But I just like how this looks with that rope over the top, so I'm doing it this way. Okay, this last one I'm going to put over this bead. I'm going to pull this string through like that. and then just pull it tight like this and just make sure it's right over the bead and the rope now these are all going to be a lot tighter together once I start tying the knots so now I'm going to start tying the vertical clove hitch knots I'm not going to cut a piece of rope off, I'm going to leave it connected to this spool of rope and I'm just going to start from this side and show you how I do this, so get this rope, put it underneath pull this rope around like that and get this rope and turn it over like that to make this loop make sure it goes on top right there and then pull these ropes through and pull it tight pull it to the top and tighten it then get this rope put it behind these ropes like that turn it around like make a loop like this where this rope goes over the top right there pull these ropes through pull it to the top tighten it and then repeat that process with the loop over like that and put these ropes through and then just keep re keep repeating that till you get to these last ropes we're only going to do one row of this natural cotton color Okay, now that we're finished with that first row, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this piece of rope off. Make sure it's super tight. In the end, I'm, I'm going to end up cutting these off anyways. I'm just putting a dab of super glue on each end, but I'm just going to keep them like that for now. So now that I did one row, I'm going to add in the accent color. 
and I'm gonna use this plum color. No, I didn't try to match my nails, but I'm just doing this color today. And I'm not gonna cut it from this spool of rope. I'm gonna keep it connected and just start tying the exact same vertical clove hitch knot starting from this side. Okay, now that I finished that first row of this color, I'm going to show you how to just turn back around. I'm going to skip these ropes and put this plum rope behind these two. So it's coming this way. And you just loop this rope over that way like that. This one's on top. And then you pull these ropes through. Tighten it. And then loop it over again like that. This rope goes on top like that. And pull them through again. And then you just repeat that till you get to these ones, and you're going to skip these ropes right here. And now you're going to turn around this way and skip this one and these ropes right here and just tie knots on these three ropes right here. Put it under these ropes and flip it over this way. And then leave all these ropes out. Get this plum rope, turn it around this way, and then just tie two knots just on this one. Flip it over, pull it through, tighten it, flip it over, pull it through, and tighten it. Now I'm just going to cut this rope off up here, like that. And then the next step is to comb all this rope out to make some fringe. You can cut these ones off too, a little bit shorter. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is cut this into a perfect V. If you like this choppy boho look, you can also leave it like that but I like to cut it to give it a more modern look. I'm gonna turn around on the back side, pull these ropes a little bit tighter, and then I'm gonna cut these ropes off right here, to the very edge. And then I'm going to get some super glue and just dab a couple drops right there so that won't come undone. Right here, just all where the ropes were. 